Yo guys, I am recording the intro of this from my office because when I went to upload this video, I don't know how this happened, but it had all the footage there. I went to upload it and the first minute or so of the video is not uploading. And then when I went to try it again, it didn't work. This stuff happens when you're a creator. It's tougher when you're a food person because I can't go back and reshoot. Most people, they just go back and reshoot it, no problem. Uh, but I can't go back and re-eat anything. So all that's missing is the original part where I tried the flatbread, which is a lobster flatbread, and I took one bite, and then away we go. That's the only thing that's missing, and it's not there. Food cost $60, which I also had there, and it's not there. Other than that, everything is there. I'm sorry, this happens. There's nothing I can do about it. Fast forward to past me. <laughs> So there's no sauce on this. I thought there would be. This just tastes like lobster and cheese on bread. Also, you have to excuse the noise. This red lobster is connected to a Best Western hotel. I guess directly. So there's a hotel patrons and all kinds of stuff. And it's right off a highway. So stuff is kind of crazy right now. But I wanted to make sure I got this fresh. Disclaimer. It tastes like there's a little bit of like a scampi sauce I'm getting at the end. And there's tomato and a good amount of lobster meat. I'm going to bite this side only because it looks like there's way more toppings on this side. So I want, I want to be fair. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you again. I got to be real. It just tastes like lobster and cheese on bread. The flatbread is nice and crispy, but there's nothing else going on. There's a very faint hint of scampi sauce, but not much. That does not equate to this costing $15, in my opinion. Would I eat this again? If you gave it to me for free. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Okay, let's make this positive. This is the greatest thing at Red Lobster and possibly any chain restaurant. People go to Red Lobster just to get these. It's the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. What the hell is, why is this so damn small? Are they all this size? Am I crazy or are these smaller than normal? I don't really care because I know they're delicious. Cheddar Bay Biscuits have cheese baked right into it and a wonderful herb butter seasoning. And if you've never had them, I don't know what the hell you've been doing, but you can get these at the store, but it's not the same. You got to give me a red lobster. 10. You want, you want a description? They're buttery. They're flaky. They're nice and soft. They are literally one of the best things in the food industry as far as a sit down chain. The best part about these is when you sit down, they're complimentary. And me, being a broke boy back in the day, we used to go to Red Lobster. And I would just get Cheddar Bay Biscuits. This is kind of like sad. And a drink. This is when we were kids. I never even ate anything. I never got entrees. Every once in a while, I'd get like some shrimp scampi and call it a day. But this is literally like one of the only reasons that Red Lobster has been open for so long, in my opinion. With that being said, I believe you can buy the mix in the store. And I have made it before. But I'm be honest, even with that, I don't, it just don't hit the same. They do something there. Probably some illegal substances or something going on. But look at the bake on this thing. It is absolutely delicious I, I said it was a 10 already if it, this is quite frankly probably the best like thing that you can get at any chain restaurant i don't know how else to say this like you can go there and get a dozen for like six dollars and, and call it a day no joke this is above in my opinion the texas roadhouse rolls and the olive garden breadsticks this is the culture and they're free i hope they're still free they were always free 10 out of 10, 42 out of 10, whatever number you want to give them, they're delicious. So this is all one entree. This is their shrimp four ways. It's $25. Now this is a special that they have and it comes with one side. So I got what looks like, well, I know what it is. It's Orzo. You got four choices of different kinds of shrimp entrees. Supposedly a big reason why they went bankrupt or lost so much is because endless shrimp supposedly people went ham. So I got their shrimp uh, scampi pasta or this is no shrimp Alfredo. I'm sorry. I'm oh, my bad. This is the shrimp scampi. Then we have the Mexican street corn shrimp, which is apparently a new thing. And then this dragon chili shrimp with some orzo on the side. I don't know where the hell to start. Let's start with this pasta. So we got shrimp. It looks like they have the tail on, which kind of sucks because now I got to use this by hand and take this off. But let's get into this with the, with the Alfredo. There's not a lot of Alfredo on here. It's all just layered on the top. So you probably have to mix this all in. But my comparable thing that I would have to this is Olive Garden. I don't know what else would be the comparison. This is actually shrimp scampi alfredo. It definitely is. I'm gonna tell you why. Heavy, heavy, heavy garlic, garlic and butter flavor with this. 
I don't mind this. Again, if you're even a halfway decent cook that can follow directions on jarred pasta, you can make this. But if you're going to a restaurant for an experience and stuff like that, I can see why you get it. Not to write home about, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but I actually enjoy this more than Olive Garden, so I would get it before that. Olive Gardens, I gave a five and a half. This is slightly better. I would give this a six out of 10. All right, let's get into the rest of this four-way shrimp fest. This one is the dragon chili shrimp, breaded shrimp with a Thai chili sauce served over a bed of what looks like coleslaw. I don't think that's lettuce. There's a little something extra on there. There's a little something extra on there that I'm kind of rocking with. At first, I just was like, okay, it's crispy. A little bit of this Thai chili sauce, but there's some kind of seasoning on this that is gives it a little bit of a kick. And again, the texture and everything else is good. These are fire. I'm mad they only give me five, but I do like them. And I'm going to give them a 8.5 out of 10. I don't know how the hell I'm going to work with this. I'm not editing that. I don't know how the hell I'm going to work with this. This is the Mexican street corn shrimp. So it looks like it's on a skewer. It is. And then there's corn on the side of it. Like, I don't know how that... Look, I don't know, man. I guess I'll just, like, dip the shrimp in there. I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Yeah, we're just going to do that. So we're going to dip... I don't want some corn all over my car, bro. We're going to dip the corn in. And, and, and I don't know what I'm doing, but this is a... Like, I like the idea. I need to snap my skewer, bro. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going from this side because it has more of, like, whatever this mayo is. All right, let's try this. Can people stop using the term Mexican street corn by putting mayonnaise and corn on stuff? Like, it takes more than that to be called Mexican street corn. Other than messing up my fucking car... Let me try this corn though, because I'm again, I want to see if the corn itself is good. The shrimp is just their normal ass shrimp, but. I mean, it's fire roasted of some sort. So I do like that char on it, but it's pretty basic corn. Pretty basic mayonnaise. And there's a pretty basic seasoning that just tastes like paprika. I don't want corn in my car. There you go. I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to mess my car up. Just no, just basic as hell. Again, stop calling things street. It's not. It, this is. It's not it. Okay. Like it, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that one's not it for me. I'm gonna give that a three out of ten. I'd rather just get regular shrimp or something like that. It's just not moving me. And this, are these scallops. I think this is supposed to be the shrimp scampi, but it comes with scallops. So maybe shrimp and scallops. I don't know what the hell is. I think this is Walt's favorite. I don't know what the hell he gave me. Maybe one of these little scallops. Again, the scampi tastes like the ones you get that are frozen. And a lot of people are probably going to say that this food is frozen. I believe that. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like sea pack. You ever have a sea pack? Very similar. I don't have a problem with sea pack, but this is upgraded sea pack. And paying for sea pack, not sea pack prices, is see you later. But again, with all this being $25, I don't think the price is that bad. It's probably why they're going bankrupt. Let's try this. I, I, I would give that a five out of ten. It's very average. Let's try this orzo. I was I didn't know what side to get, but this one was the one they pre-selected, so I guess maybe that's like the play. They don't believe in seasoning at Red Lobster. Like I'm sure you can work with this if I just pour the scampi butter in there. Let's just do that. Pour a little of the scampi butter in here. Let's let's see what we can do. Miss my whole mouth. For those who don't know, I travel with a vacuum for this reason. I'll be cleaning my car right after I'm done. No joke. People got to think I'm crazy because I come outside, I'm be dressed like this, and you don't see me just, just detailing my own car. I do it every time. Let's try this. <laughs> no, it still sucks. What the hell? How is that? I, look, flavorless butter is a new, <laughs> it's a new thing for me. I'm sorry. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude, but this orzo, I guess like texturally, it just tastes like rice. It's supposed to be orzo. That is not orzo, that's rice. My receipt's right here, hold on. Okay, they gave me rice. It does say it on the receipt. I asked for orzo, 
that came on here. And this is Parmesan and brown butter scampi. I, I wish I didn't know that because that's even worse than I thought it was. That's now a four out of 10. But the rice, it, it's, it's okay. I swear to God, this said orzo. But whatever. If I give it rice, I'll give it a five out of 10. It's cooked well. Just doesn't really taste anything else. Like more like a white rice. So you can mix it in with stuff. Matter of fact, let's do this. Let's throw a little of this corn in here and be fair. I'm not going to work with that. I'm not going to work with that. It's still not good enough for me to go to Red Lobster, if I'm being real, though. Other than the biscuits, none of this is worth going to Red Lobster. Crispy Dragon Shrimp, notwithstanding. Everything else is very disappointing. And I used to remember being a big fan of Red Lobster as a kid. I did get dessert, though, so I'm going to stop my rant and get my dessert this time. This is one of my favorite types of desserts, and whatever it's on any menu, if you can open this. They make these things impossible to open these days. And if it's on any menu, I have to get it. So we have a key lime pie. I just dropped this, so that's not them. That's me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Key lime pie. It's got a nice graham cracker crust in the back. This costs $9. It's, it's a pretty small piece of pie, in my opinion, but, you know, hopefully it tastes good. Got to get a fresh one. Let's get a fresh spoon. Out of here. There we go. All right. As I always do, I'm going to eat it from the back. I, I eat all pies from the back, bro. I know people, I said this last time and people got hella weird and I didn't even realize what I meant. For once, I wasn't trying to be like that. That time I knew what I was saying. But I'm going to get there. There you go. So there's the crust. Nice graham cracker crust. The crust is nice on this. The crust is nice on this. Like, they got a nice, thick crust, and that is what I really like in a key lime pie. The graham cracker, it just pairs so well with that tartness of the lime with a little bit of the sweet that you get. It's not overly tart. This is good. I wish the pie was bigger, but that's because my back is big. That's not really a them problem. Let me get one piece from the front just to get a little bit more of the, the filling. I don't have a problem with that. That just saved my meal. And for the second time in a week, I've had my meal saved by a pie. Again, best part is the crust. Nice and buttery. Good amount of graham cracker on it. Even in the front part. See if I can, you know, flip you around for you, baby. See, there's a good amount of crust on this. You can see how nice and layered that is. So I'm a fan of this. It, this might be like a frozen pie or something like that. But again, when you're at a restaurant, you put it on a plate. And nobody really knows the difference these days. It's not the greatest key lime pie I've ever had, but it is one that saved my meal. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Overall, I know this might ruffle some feathers. I think Red Lobster has a pretty decent amount of fans. Uh, but I think that this restaurant is is really lacking in, in just flavor. Now, in some of the comments in my last video, most people don't get this far, so they're going to comment it anyway. They said I was being bougie. When I rate chain restaurants, I'm only comparing it to other chain restaurants. I don't think it's fair to compare chains to mom and pop places or fast food places. That's their price point. That's what I'm comparing it to. Compared to other chain restaurants that I have done in the last year, I'm going to try to do them all again now that I'm in the car because I think there is a difference. This one is, is near the bottom. Um, I... I even with the endless shrimp, I think would be a good deal. With this place, it more comes down to if you're doing something, they have a promotion. I know on Wednesdays, because I saw this last week, they have like a filet mignon and lobster tail, and I think it costs like 30 bucks. That same meal I got at Longhorn Steakhouse cost me $44.15. That is a really good deal. It also comes with multiple sides. So I think that's a very good deal. Um, but you have to be very particular about what you pick from here. If I went back, I wouldn't probably go back, but if I would, I would suggest the dragon chili shrimp. I would suggest, of course, the Cheddar Bay biscuits and maybe get that with some pasta on the side and do like a two-way with a key lime pie. Like the, the flatbread wasn't worth it. If you're going to do something, you just stick to the basics, in my opinion. Um, and other than that, I, I wouldn't go here. To me, still, there's other places that I would put way ahead. Texas Roadhouse is way ahead. Chili's is way ahead. Outback Steakhouse is way ahead. This is near the bottom. Um... Of the ones that I can done of recent memory, it's probably been the worst. Now, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that, in my opinion, it's not great on a chain restaurant scale. So, please, the people who are commenting and saying I'm being bougie, I am only comparing it to chain restaurants. It's one of the worst, in my opinion. If you like Red Lobster, listen, come with me. We get some cheddar bit biscuits and we can chop it up. But overall... When I rate what I had, when I order $60 worth of food, I wouldn't get it again. There's just better chain options. So that is just my opinion. I love and respect y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Again, let me know what other chain restaurants you want to see. For whatever reason, when I looked at the amount of people commenting, not just the views, but comments and engagement and things like that, it's been the chain restaurants recently. I have no problem with doing it. The weather's nice right now. I'm hot as hell in this car because I just came from the gym, as you can clearly tell. Um, 
Anybody comments about my watch that I'm coming from the gym? I keep my watch in this bag. I take it off when I work out. But um, I, we'll, we'll go to more. I have no issue with that. Like, let's do it. So let me know what you think in the comment sections, man. I love and appreciate y'all. Uh, it's hot as hell in this car as always. But let me know what you want to see. And we'll be back tomorrow, man. More content. The hand signs. They made it. it. I'm on YouTube more than Instagram at this point. It doesn't make sense. But they made it to YouTube. The story about that, I'm still yapping. One more thing. I first started YouTube in 2021. Basically, at this point, I was more on Instagram. And I told my people on Instagram that I'd make a YouTube video if I got enough uh, likes on a post. Post got enough likes, I made a YouTube video, and here I am. So when I first started, I was the guy from Instagram. My hand signs made it to YouTube. Get it? That's where it came from. People are asking. If you're watching this far, you probably already know that, but I love y'all, man. Again, that's the signs. <laughs>